Alligator gar are the second largest freshwater fish in North America. They disappeared from Illinois' waterways in the 1990s. We wanted to restore that part of the ecosystem because it is important to have top predators to balance the species below them in order to keep check on some more abundant species. Fisheries biologist Randy Sauer says beyond that, alligator gar make for some great big game fishing. The diamond-scaled animals, which can breathe both air and water, can grow up to 2.7 meters and weigh more than 136 kilograms. In fact, their large size is what did them in originally in the state. It was pretty much extirpated from a lot of its range because of misconceptions about it eating sport fish and people would target it and literally put bounties on the capture of these fish. The alligator gar is an opportunistic eater, meaning it will eat whatever it encounters, from an occasional turtle or small duck to invasive species such as Asian and silver carp. Sauer hopes the reintroduction program will help the state's efforts to control the carp. Because gar can live up to 60 years, this program is going to take many years to fully expand. The alligator gar doesn't sexually mature the females till uh, 11 years, and the males not till six or seven years. So uh, at the outset of this project, we're probably going to stock more heavily than we will 10 to 20 years down the road, when hopefully these fish will kind of find each other and, and start doing the job on their own. To date, 7,000 alligator gar have been fitted with transponder tags so they can be tracked and then released into the Illinois waterways. As it rains and floods, biologists expect some of the fish to follow the rivers all the way down to Louisiana and Texas. For VOA News, I'm Erica Celeste in the Kaskaskia River State Fish and Wildlife Area.